हेलो ऑल सो वी आर नाउ कंडक्टिंग ए लेक्चर सेशन ऑन फ्लूड मैकेनिक्स एंड फ्लूड एंड टर्बो मशीनरी सो वी आर अप टू द लास्ट पॉइंट ऑफ द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ फ्लूड्स अप टिल नाउ वी हैव सीन द बेसिक्स ऑफ फ्लूड्स देन द वेरियस प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ फ्लूड्स मास डेंसिटी वेट डेंसिटी स्पेसिफिक वॉल्यूम एक्सेट्रा सो ही आर आई वेलकम यू ऑन द last segment of properties of fluids my name is saman wani please subscribe to my youtube channel for getting various information about the lecture series on fluid mechanics so today's topic is related with the remaining properties of fluids that is capillarity compressibility bulk modulus and vapor pressure so after that some problems based on properties of fluids will be discussed so today we will discuss the actual concept of capillarity so basically uh, we will uh, see that in this uh, diagram a properties of fluid is uh, known as a capillarity and here we can see that in a pipe the water is rising and lowering so due to that uh, a meniscus concave nature of a water uh, level is been seen in the cap in the form of a capillary tube and so therefore as the uh, particular uh, capillary rise is there or capillary low down is there in the pipe then we can find the rise of the water or the rise of the level of the water in the pipe and we say that it is a capillary rise so we have to find the equation and we have to find uh, with the help of this equation it will be easy for us to find whether the, there is a capillary rise or a capillary depression so capillarity is a phenomenon by which a liquid depending upon its specific gravity rises into a thin glass tube above or below its general level this phenomenon is due to the combined effect of cohesion and adhesion of liquid particles so uh, you will see that this uh, this uh, concept is nothing but the rise uh, of a water level or that particular fluid in the glass tube above or general uh, below it of its general level so let uh, small d is the diameter of the capillary tube theta is the angle of contact of water surface then sigma is the surface tension force for unit length and w is the weight density or that is specific weight which is denoted by w and it is the formula is rho into g now upward surface tension force that is known as liquid uh, li lifting force which is equal to weight of the water column in the tube that is gravity force so now here the upward force which is coming that is the gravity force on the water surface and the downward force which is uh, lifting the water up in the tube is known as the lifting force so that uh, theta should be equal to 0 for water in the glass so hence the if the theta is equal to 0 then from left hand side and right hand side we will have this equation that sir circumference pi d or 2 pi r into sigma into cos theta will be equal to pi by 4 d square that is the area of the pipe into height of the capillary into specific weight so this is it, it should be same the lifting force is this and the gravity force is this so basically uh, due to that uh, the value when we just realize the equation in terms of h we get 4 into pi and pi will be cancelled so 4 into sigma into cos theta divided by w into d this is the formula for calculating h but if uh, theta is equal to 0 so we know that cos 0 is nothing but 1 so therefore h will be equal to 4 sigma divided by wd this will be the final equation for uh, calculating the cap uh, capillary rise in the water level then uh, second is case of mercury because uh, now mercury is a denser liquid than water so there are chances that uh, from the general level it will give us the uh, reading of the pressure in downward direction so the lower uh, the level of the mercury will be lowered so there is a capillary depression as shown in the figure now you will see that this is the general level of the way uh, of the height of the mercury or water we can say and the depression is carried out in this quantity I mean, this is the uh, reduction in the air rise of the capillary tube uh, level so we say that this uh, this lower level rise is known as capillary depression and therefore uh, we have to find 
find this equation in terms of angles so as the angle of depression suppose theta is 140 degree so we say that the cos uh, it will be equal to cos 180 minus 40 degree so we get as minus 40 degree therefore h is negative indicating capillary depression so uh, therefore this capillary depression will be in reduction uh, quantity other than the general uh, depression following points are important smaller the diameter of the capillary tube greater is the capillary rise or depression the measurement of liquid level in laboratory capillary tubes should be smaller than 8 mm capillary effects are negligible for tubes longer than 12 mm so these are the points which are uh, important in the calculation of the capillary rise or depression as the diameter of the capillary tube is smaller than the then there is a greater rise in capillary uh, due to the, uh, the dip, uh, rise or depression there is a greater change in the rise or depression of the cap in the capillary tube the measurement of liquid level in laboratory capillary tubes should not be smaller than 8 mm so the, there is a limitation here and capillary effects are negligible for tubes longer than 12 mm so if the height of the tubes is more than 12 mm then therefore they are again not used then third is uh, for getting for wetting liquid that is water theta is equal lesser than pi by 2 for water theta equal to 0 when pure water is in contact with clean glass but theta becomes as high as 25 degree when water is slightly contaminated now here the contamination of water if the water is impure then there are chances that the theta will become as high as around 25 degree now you can see here that there is a gas for liquid and for solid the for the wetting liquid how the capillary rise will take place so for gas it will go in the upward direction for liquid it will be flowing like this and for solid it will remain as a solid line for non wetting liquid that is for mercury because mercury when it is flowing it does not uh, keep its uh, any shape or any uh, actual a point uh, by which we can say that the mercury has been flown here so there is no any proof of the flow of the mercury which leaves behind after the pipe so theta will be greater than pi by 2 so here you can see for mercury it it is a liquid bubble and for gas it is having that is for non non wetting liquid the gas range will be here and for solid it will be same so theta will be greater than pi by 2 so therefore the angle will be more than 90 degree so for mercury the theta varies between 1 130 degree to 150 degree Re refer figure which illustrates the liquid gas interface with the solid surface so we can combine this this is less than pi by 2 and this is greater than pi by 2 the effects of surface tension are negligible in many flow problems except those involving capillary rise then formation of drops and bubbles the breakup of liquid jets and hydraulic model studies where the model or flow depth is small so in this case we have to determine the uh, the whether the particular points of the uh, uh, of the capillary rise at that point we are having the formation of bubbles or drops or it is breaking in liquid jets etc then we are going to the next property of fluid that is compressibility so the property by virtue of which fluids undergo a change in volume under the action of external pressure is known as compressibility so whenever a fluid is compressed and if they undergo a change in volume is actual change volume is changing for that particular fluid then we say that it is a compressibility it decreases with increase in pressure of fluid as the volume modulus increases with the increase of pressure the variation in volume of water with variation of pressure is so small that for all practical purposes it is neglected so actually this property of uh, compressibility is mostly neglected in all quantities where the variation of volume of water is uh, takes place we directly neglect it thus the water is considered to be an incompressible liquid however in case of water flowing through pipes when sudden or large changes in pressure takes place the compressibility cannot be neglected means what in some cases there is a large change in the uh, pressure values from input to output so for that if there is a large change uh, for example here it is given like in water water hammer processes here if the pressure changes are more then this compressibility cannot be neglected so in fluid mechanics this compressibility is considered mainly when the velocity of flow is high enough reaching 20% of speed of sound in the medium elasticity of fluids is measured in terms of bulk modulus of elasticity 
which is defined as the ratio of compressive stress to volumetric strain compressibility is the reciprocal of bulk modulus of elasticity so when we have to find the compressibility or bulk modulus we can find the bulk modulus by giving a value of reciprocality to the compressibility now see here we are having a piston and cylinder arrangement initial the volume was v and when the piston is moved downwards with the force p or we can say a pressure is applied then the piston will change its position from this to this the dotted line will show the final position of the piston so what will happen is the volume which is contained here will change from v to dv so the final volume will be v minus dv and the position of the piston will be from this blue position to the dotted line position so due to this what will happen is there is a tremendous uh, uh, reduction in strain at the same time the pressure is increased so therefore the value of pressure will increase because the area or the uh, actual substance is compressed now consider a cylinder fitted with a piston as shown in the figure let v is the volume of gas enclosed in the cylinder and p is the pressure of gas when volume is v so p by a where a is the area of cross section of the cylinder let pressure is increased to p plus dp so here when the uh, piston is moved from this top position to lower position naturally pressure is increasing from p to p plus dp and the volume is reduced from v to uh, v to actual v minus dv increase in pressure is dp and decrease in volume is dv so volumetric strain will be minus dv by v and therefore this negative volume indicates that there is a decrease in volume with increase in pressure then bulk modulus bulk modulus is the reciprocal of compressibility so it will be directly uh, dp that is increase of pressure divided by minus dv by v that is volumetric strain so k is equal to dp divided by minus dv by v so compressibility is nothing but equal to 1 divided by k and therefore uh, we can say it is uh, reciprocal that is bulk modulus also will be reciprocality of the compressibility now again a steepening of the curve with increasing pressure shows that as fluids are compressed it becomes increasingly difficult to compress them further you can see now the this curve which is shown this is steepening what is meaning of the steepening is it is going away from the uh, particular axis and therefore it is going in downward direction the following points are uh, worth noticing here first the bulk modulus of elasticity of a fluid is not constant but it increases with increase in pressure so see that the value of k that is bulk modulus will increase when the pressure is increasing this is so because when a fluid mass is compressed its molecules becomes close together and resistance to further compression increases and therefore k is increasing so as there is a compression of the piston from first position to the final position there is a tremendous rise in the pressure because the molecules come together and they resist the compression second point is the bulk modulus of elasticity of the fluid is affected by the temperature of the fluid in case the fluids uh, there is decrease in decrease of value of k with increase in temperature in some cases you will find that the value of bulk modulus is reducing with increase in temperature however for gases since pressure and temperature are interrelated and as temperature increases pressure will also increase an increase in temperature results in an increase in the value of k at normal temperature and pressure we get the value of bulk modulus of water is equal to 2.07 into 10 raised to 6 kilo newton per meter square and the bulk modulus for air is 101.3 kilo newton per meter square this is the values at the normal pressure and temperature now next is the final point of the vapor pressure all liquids have a tendency to evaporate and vaporize now see whenever a particular liquid is burnt at the same time due to its self ignition temperature generally the liquids will have a tendency to evaporate or either vaporize so that is to change from the liquid phase to the gaseous state molecules are continuously projected from free surface to the atmosphere these ejected molecules are in gaseous state and exert their own partial vapor pressure on the liquid surface this pressure is known as vapor pressure of the 
liquid now see basically uh, when the uh, molecules which are coming out from the actual liquid when they are uh, evaporated then these molecules ejected will be in the gaseous state and therefore due to that they will exert their self partial pressure and there on the liquid surface now we know that uh, water uh, the boiling point of water is 100 degree celsius but still if the pressure on the uh, surface of the uh, water is reduced then the boiler the water can even boil at 20 degree celsius also so this is the thing uh, that is the concept of vapor pressure where the uh, uh, pressure on the surface of the water is reduced then it can be converted into gaseous state at that particular lower temperature also if the surface above the liquid is confined the partial pressure partial vapor pressure exerted by the molecules increase till the rate at which the molecules re enter the liquid is equal to the rate at which they leave the surface and due to this when the equilibrium state is reached the vapor pressure is called saturation vapor pressure so this is the way in which the vapor pressure theory is carried out now the last point is uh, have, we are having a chart which are uh, given as the properties of fluid at 20 degree celsius and at atmospheric pressure so we will read out some properties of fluids we are having the name of fluid then the value of mass density then specific weight dynamic viscosity kinematic viscosity modulus of elasticity surface tension and vapor pressure all values are mentioned here now so we can take an example of air the value of air is 1. Point, uh, the that is density of air is 1.208 kN per meter cube value of specific uh, weight of the uh, air is 0.01185 kN per meter cube then uh, dynamic viscosity value in poise it is 1.85 into 10 raised to minus 4 uh, for air for kinematic viscosity in stokes 1.53 into 10 raised to minus 4 is the value of air modulus of elasticity surface tension and vapor pressure values are not available because air is an uh, air is regarded as an inert gas so mostly these values will not be available here one example we will take for any uh, liquid like mercury 13550 is the mass density in kilonewton per meter cube then in space for value of specific weight we are having uh, 132880 uh, kilonewton per meter cube then uh, for dynamic viscosity we are having 0 0.016 poise for mercury then uh, the kinematic viscosity is 1.18 into 10 raised to minus 3 modulus of elasticity 2.431 into 10 raised to 10 surface tension is 0 0.510 newton per meter and vapor pressure for mercury is 1.726 into 10 raised to minus 1 uh, that is newton per meter square so these all uh, properties will help us to uh, solve the problems based on this. these are just the standard values used for the calculation of the various uh, actual properties of the fluids so here we uh, complete all the uh, properties of fluids in next lectures we are going to see the various uh, problems related on the properties of the fluids and also uh, uh, we are receiving a great response from your side so please subscribe our youtube channel uh, for receiving various videos related to uh, fluid mechanics and uh, fluid and turbo machinery thank you